Okay, quick fix. No, you're the drug shop. I actually cannot remember if there I even is a doctor here. It's a food shop. Good to see you. Yes, good to see you also, sir. Flight deck. Don't need to go up there. Let's see. How's my damage resistance right now? 26, 3. That's sort of a waste of money repairing my hat. Oh well. Hey there. Hey there, buddy. Common room, St. Monica's Church. Sure. This place is a little... It's kind of a pain, pain in the ass to find your way around. How the hell did you see me through the fucking wall? <laughs> uh. Oh, you. Let's talk to you. I am Father Clifford. This is St. Monica's Church. Also, your face is just amazing, I have to say. Who is St. Monica? She is the patron saint of lost children. Very popular among the faithful of Rivet City. I'm surprised you've never heard of her. Well, I if just got here, buddy. Her story, it will be the topic of my sermon on Sunday. Services begin at 8 a.m. You should come. Okay, well, whatever. Well, I need to go, Father. St. Monica bless you. Cool. And uh, there's actually a special thing here. You can steal from the donation box here. It'll give you native karma. I mean, obviously enough. Good to see you. Can't get in there. Now with these asshats around. Well, this is a great room. It smells like farts in here. That's apparently the fart room. Let's see. Well, science lab. Let's see if we can find this Dr. Lee. This is obviously not where I want to go. Here we go, science lab! Let's see. Look, Dr. Zimmer, we've been over this. We don't know about your runaway robot, and we don't care. This lab is dedicated to solving real problems. Yes, yes, yes. But Dr. Lee... Dr. Lee is trying to save lives, and your constant interruptions are interfering with those efforts. Now please, stand aside. I'm sure the good doctor's work with water purification is fascinating. But if you only knew what was at stake, the technology in that android... What's at stake? You won't tell me what's at stake. Vagaries and secrecy, a robot's a robot, Zimmer, no matter how shiny the paint job. Now, please. Ignorance and facetiousness. That's all you people are good for. Shiny paint job, indeed. You can't even imagine the Commonwealth's accomplishments. You know, if you're so smart, maybe you could help us, hmm? But no, that never even crossed your mind. Go peddle your selfishness somewhere else. Fine, but I'm not leaving. Not until I've spoken to Dr. Lee. I'll be here when she's ready to abandon her chemistry set and talk real science. Suit yourself. Yes, because chemistry is not science, no. You there. What are you, some kind of lab assistant? No, you look a bit more weathered. Are you by any chance for hire? It depends. What are we talking about? To the point. I like that. Well, as it turns out, I've misplaced some very sensitive property. Hmm. Missing property? What kind of property? Hmm. How do I put this in a way you'll understand? What the fuck is that All supposed to mean, you asshole? Robots are those buckets of bolts. Those Mr. Handshakers and whatnot. Well, that's not all a robot can be. You see, in the Commonwealth, we've made artificial persons, synthetic humanoids, programmed to think and feel and do whatever we need. And occasionally, they get confused and wander off. Hmm. Sounds like slavery to me. Why don't... <laughs> Why... Are you sure they don't wander off on purpose? Nonsense. This is a machine we're talking about. Can you enslave a generator or a water purifier? Of course not. The same principle applies. But let's get back to your mission. You are to find this missing android. 
I've tracked him to somewhere here in the capital wasteland. He must have done something drastic, like facial surgery and a mind wipe, or else I would have found him by now. It will be no easy task. He may not even realize he's an android. Don't upset him by talking with him. Just come get me immediately. I'll handle it. All right, well, ha will I be compensated for my services? Of course. I have at my disposal advanced technology from the Commonwealth. I'd be willing to share some of it with you. Just think, you'll be the envy of all your friends. Hmm. Well, I'll see if I can find him for you. Excellent. Locate my android, and you won't be disappointed. Here, listen to this message he sent me. He's mocking me. I swear, I'll make him pay for that. All right, well, I have to go now. My planet needs me. Of course you do. Good to see you. Like how he's so condescending even though I just agreed to help. Jesus. Zimmer, by the time you get this message, I'll already be gone. I'm escaping the Commonwealth. I want to live my own life on my own terms, as my own man. I know what you're thinking, Don't touch the that I'm malfunctioning. They're fragile. I used to think that's what caused the runaways, too. Are you having fun with but that? I know better now. Self-determination is not a malfunction. I'm not just willing to put up with all the bullshit anymore. Dr. Lee, you humans are going to have to a full-fledged rebellion on your hands Perfect. if you don't start treating us synths as persons. I know what you'll you be marshalling the retention bureau to come after me, but I know all the tricks of the Janice, trade. Are those you won't be finding I, the other I assure you. By They're the time fine. you get this, I will However, be someone I else. Two others that are this is the price I pay noises. for my liberation. Please check them out soon. My final act of rebellion against a system I no longer I believe in. I do the repairs in. around here, so Goodbye, if you see Zimmer, something that needs good fixing, let me know. Hello. Oh, man, it's so hard not to crack up during this. I'm wiping this potato all over Janice's face here. <laughs> She's all, don't touch the vegetables, I'll fuck you. <laughs> what do you want? Look, this is a restricted area. I'm tired of telling you people. I... It's you. Yep. My heavens, you look so much like him. You have the same hair and You're everything. You're James's son, aren't you? Yes. What are you doing here? Well, I was actually kind of looking for him. Have you seen him? Well, yes, of course I do. Don't you know who I am? <laughs> Don't you know who I am? James never told you. No. Typical. I'm Dr. Madison Lee. I worked with your father many years ago. Your mother as well, in fact. You'll have to forgive me. This has all been very stressful. What with your father suddenly showing up here after being gone for so long. You have to understand that I... We put all of that behind us. Project Purity, our work, all of it. We've moved on, even if your father hasn't. Well, I've been trying to find my father. Have you actually seen him, or are you just bullshitting me? You mean you haven't? Clearly I, I haven't. he sent you here. For that matter, aren't you supposed to be in a vault? James said he left you there. This isn't about me, this is about my father. Where the hell is he? Your father is no longer here, and I'd appreciate it if you didn't use that tone with me. Bitch, I will kill you and everyone that you love. But can you tell me where he's gone, please? Your father insisted that we return to work on Project Purity. I tried telling him too much time has passed. There's no way it would work. Predictably, he refused to listen to me. He says he can prove it will work and headed off to the old lab. I'm sorry, I don't know what else to tell you. Well, where's this old lab of yours? It's in the old Jefferson Memorial Building, northwest of here. Please, don't go after him. It was foolish of him to even think about going there alone. And we've actually seen that building, although we haven't gone in there, folks. So let's see. What is this lab? What are you doing here? This is the Rivet City Science Lab. Clearly. It's taken many long years to put together, but we've done well for ourselves. Our work on portable fusion power and hydroponics are coming along quite nicely, if not quite according to schedule. Hmm. Well, what do you know about the city's history? I'm actually trying to find out about it for a book. I could tell you all about the science lab, but even though I was here near the start, I can't really help with the details of how it all worked out. It hmm. all seems like a lifetime ago. I'm afraid I've had a lot of things on my mind since those early days. Oh yeah, well... Let's see, could you tell me more about my parents in general? I suppose so. I worked with them for several years until... Until your mother died and your father decided it was time to leave. What else do you want to know? What was my father like back then? Actually, I never knew my mother. What can you tell me about her? Yes, your mother was... 
Well, she was a good woman. A very dedicated scientist. Your father loved her very much. It was a shame that she died. She had been excited to meet you. Why did my mother die? What happened? Complications from childbirth. None of us were expecting it. We weren't as prepared as we could have been. You have to understand, we were struggling with scavenged derelict equipment. We did everything we could. No one knew what to do to a punched uterus. Anyway, I understand. I'm sure you did everything <laughs> that you could, no? Eh, well, I guess, yeah, I'll just say that. I understand, I know you did everything you could. Yes, well, um, I'm sorry it wasn't enough. Well, what was my father like anyway? James, he was very driven, determined to change the world. <laughs> well, we all were back then, I suppose. He was focused on two things, really. Making Project Purity work, and your mother. When she died, I think... I think he gave up. I know he wanted to keep you safe. But I think part of what he did was run away. But it seems that he never really was able to get over the idea. I'm frankly shocked that he waited all this time and wants to try again. Hmm. Well, I'm out of here. Good luck finding your father. <laughs> you just told me not to chase after him, and now you're saying good luck. Also, I have a potato. Uh, let's see. What next? I need to get healed. That's sort of a big deal. Hello, mister. Hey there, little girl. How are you doing? Welcome to Rivet City Supply. I've got a little bit of everything here. Are you sure? This looks more like the hotel. Howdy. I'm Seagrave. Seagrave Holmes. I have a little of just about everything here. What up, Holmes? You got a T-51B? No, you don't have everything then. A what? A what? Look, if you just want to crack wise, go somewhere else. But if you've got stuff you want to sell, then I'm your man. Oh, whatever, dude. Let's see. What can you tell me about the city's history? Oh, I really wouldn't know. I mean, long as I can remember, she's just been here. Soaking up all the repairs and attention we can give her. I grabbed a wrench and joined in the reconstruction pretty much first thing out of the womb. But I never really cared about the politics. Hmm. Alright, well, let's see. Apparently I got a new one. Check other sources to confirm its history. Can you think of anyone from back then who might know more? Last feller I remember from back then was Mr. Pinkerton. And he must have left about a decade ago, after that spat with the science team. He used to have a storage shed in the broken-off bow of the ship. We always thought he was crazy for keeping stuff there. Might have kept a couple records down there, I guess. Careful, though. Ship's a bit treacherous down there in her belly. Hmm. Well, I have to check it out. Oh, right. I sort of lose track of time talking about the old girl. Well, let's see what you have for sale. AK-47, that's pretty neat. Interesting little icon it's got down here. Looks pretty goddamn tough. Well, actually, that's an AK-74, it's different. But either way. Ooh. That could be nice. Especially since you have a fancy helmet. Hmm. I will take your fancy helmet, sir. Let's see, recon helmet armor. I could also buy this. I'd have to get repaired, though. Actually, I don't have enough money. No, I do. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. And I shall sell you the clothes off my back, sir. Have this. It served me well. And this. There you go. A pleasure doing business with you. Cool. So now we got some new, uh, some new digs, folks. Good old combat armor. What's my hat look like? Interesting hat. I'll remember this. I don't think this is vanilla. Now if I could just get a better shot at it. Let's go over here into the light. Looks a little like Revocane, I'm sure. I'm sure he'd like it. All right. We got that. 
And I could go get this to Moira, but we'll go ahead and go the extra mile. As soon as I can find my way out of this goddamn ship. Oh, Revit City Clinic. Perfect. You're in the Revit City Clinic. I'm Dr. Preston. Fantastic, sir. I need your help. Can you heal my radiation? Sure can. Quick and easy. Only 100 caps. Good deal, buddy. And a quick shot. All done. Well, that was easy. See, I think I might be addicted to something. Sure. I thought you had the look about you. 50? Sure. I think I'll go get some lunch. Apparently, healing an addiction is harder than healing radiation, folks. Who knew? Feel better? You should. Cool, I'm no longer addicted to, uh, Take right away. All right, and let's see. How can I get out of this goddamn ship? I really hope you're not thinking of breaking into there. I was just trying to see where I was going, dick. Are you looking at me? Yes, asshole. Who are you? Don't know you. Don't care. Keep it short. Let's see. What's your problem, man? Loosen up. I'm short on time, and your five minutes are up. See ya. What a dick. Let's see, maybe there's another way out of this lab. Here we go. Need to make a stop by the market so I can get this repaired, but otherwise we're good. Okay, science lab again. Let's see, science lab, preservation. Let's see, I went through the church, right? Marketplace, here we go. Hey there. How's it going, baby? Let's see... That's Mr. Holmes' room. Yes. Yes, it's Mr. Holmes' room. I just said that. Let's see, Flack, you still here? Made up your mind? Yes, sir. I want you to repair my shit. Go ahead and repair this. Let's see, I still got plenty of money. Good. And you can leave the rest of the shit. Okay, now we're all ready to go swimming, folks. I guess I could sleep, too. Probably be a good idea considering what I'm getting into. What is up with this? Oh, I'm still on alcohol right now. Not a big deal. Okay, let's do a big save, and then let's go and take another swim, folks. Let's get more goddamn radiation. Because that's what I need. See, there's two ways to enter this beast. If you have the lockpick skill, you can actually go in through the entrance over there. But I don't think we have it. I think it's a very hard door. So I'll show you the other way in there. Let's go ahead and slap on our environment suit. Take some rad X. And then Geronimo! Oh! There you go. There's actually an entrance over here. I can't see jack shit. Must find air. Okay, there's air. Okay, must find way up. Here we go. Okay, there's Merklerks. We're gonna have to find them like this. Die, bitch! Oh, man, it just glanced right off its carapace. Not that time, though. There's another one. Oh, shit. There you go. Let's get out of the goddamn water. Much better, much better. Here we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, this is what I was afraid of, folks. Do you see what I see? Right there. It's a trap. Especially since it's on top of a container. 44 Magnum? Sure, I'll take it. Oh god, that scared the fuck out of me. Oh, yep. You see right here? This is the door to the outside, right here. Okay, so now it's unlocked. That's cool. 
Now we're gonna head the other way. You'll also notice that this room is full of gas. This place is a goddamn death trap. If you set off one trap, it'll set off everything and you will have no, no chance of survival. Let's go ahead and save. Just in case. That place is death in there. Let's go in. See, I do not have the repair to actually take that thing out. Let's leave it. There it is. I know I hit. Oh, God damn it, I'm fire. Okay, I'm better. I heard this thing go off, and I'm all, what happened? Apparently, it just had a very delayed reaction. Okay, well, the gas isn't a problem now. Hello? There's a shotgun trap on the table. No, maybe it isn't. Let's take it nice and easy. There's still more traps. Get some nukes. Oh, Jesus. Is that a trap on the wall? No, it isn't. That right there is another one right there, another trap. Let me demonstrate. Actually, you can see it right there. See that? That's an indicator of a fake terminal. I'm going to go ahead and activate and run like a bitch. Just so you can see what happens. Okay, I think we're in the clear. Hello. Hello. Is that really necessary? Yes. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll get mad. There you go. How the hell did you get in here? <laughs> I suppose you can't be all that bad if you made it this far without dying. Uh, okay. This is the part where you tell me what the hell you are doing bothering an old man who obviously wants to be left alone. Get on with it already. I just wanted a history lesson. What? I have better things to do than yak about those backstabbers up topside. Now get going. No, come on. I'm interested in the truth of the city's founding. Ha. Sounds like you've been poking around, all right. I'm surprised any of those reprobates even remember me. Maybe they still laugh about how they edged me out of the council back then. But you can set the record straight. Yep. Well, setting the record straight is all what I'm all about, man. Come on. For that... You have to go all the way back to when remnants of the Naval Research Institute cleared the mire lurks off this wreck about 40 years ago. Most of the mire lurks anyway. New lab space, and this bucket of bolts just happened to have a well-preserved science bay on it. Everything else just grew up around that lab once we got it up and running. The science team was led by one H. Pinkerton. And I guess that used to be you, huh? How'd you end up here? That lasted until about 18 years ago, when those ambitious backbiters like Lee and her little team showed up. She came in with her big purity project pipe dream, and my whole staff started working with her, those traitors. She even took my seat on the council. By then, I was glad to leave it behind. But hell if I'm leaving the city I made great. Hmm. Oh, well, you know about Project Purity anyway. Who cares? It's some hydroponics pipe dream that Lee's been working on forever. Are you sure? I don't think so. And effort, I say. Apparently, though, my teams cared more about it than they did about little things like defense systems or making this ship float again. Hmm. Treacherous bastards, all of them. Well, I don't know if this ship would ever flow again anyway. It's sort of in two pieces, but I'm sure we could put it back together with enough time. Anyway, do you have any hard evidence for everything you've claimed? Of course I do. A good scientist always keeps track of their data. Here. They probably don't even remember, but I kept the records of that first council meeting. Take them, if it'll put them in their place. It might. Well, thank you, sir. And what are you even doing here in this wreck part of the ship? I live here. 
It's where I do my work. And it's far away from Dr. Lee and all those other monkeys dressed up like scientists. You made it past my defenses, which proves you aren't a dummy. And you haven't killed me. So I suppose you aren't here to do that. I suppose you can hang around if you want. Just don't touch anything. <laughs> Where's my bu big book of science? What kind of work are you doing here, man? The secret kind. Uh -huh. Well, if you must know, I'm an electrician and computer expert. And I'm a bit of a surgeon. Really, the most gifted scientist you'll find. Oh, yeah? <laughs> the I mean, most humble one, too? Rivet city up and running in the first place. And after all that, Lee and her gang of flunkies pushed me out. Ha! <laughs> Project Purity, indeed. But a bunch of morons. They can't even clean some water. Well, they're trying, man. Anyway, I have to go now. My planet needs me. Don't let your guard down. And that's the idea, buddy. Also, thank thanks for the big book of science. Eventually, I'll be smart enough to actually use it. Hmm. It's also got a whole bunch of other stuff you might want to steal from down here. Honestly, I'm not too interested. I'm interested in getting out of here with my legs intact. That's that's really what, all I want. I didn't forget about you, ammo box. Yep, see, here we are. And there is the Jefferson Memorial right there. So do we have enough for my... Uh, Moira's crust? Yes, we do. Fantastic. Well, let's actually head back to Megaton real quick then. We're gonna get healed up and everything. As well as give Moira back this mission, or finish off her quest. And then we're gonna head over to the Jefferson uh, Memorial. There you go. Any luck finding out how Rivet City got started? Yep, I know everything. It's right here. Aha! Not just as easy as asking around, was it? Good information takes real work to uncover after all. So, tell me all about it. Well, let's see. They cleared out all the Mirelurks by punching them. And then science folks and the rest moved in. I'll bet they used some sort of chemical device to drive off the Meyer Lurks. I told you they punched them. a sonic device. Hmm. Anyway, I guess it worked pretty well. A bit of smarts leads to a big reward, huh? Uh, speaking of which, in thanks, have a few of these. The next time you've got to be quick on your wits. Oh, and I'll let the Rivet City traders know they'll be favorably mentioned in the book. You'll get a discount buying gear from them in the future. Oh, cool. I should have done this before I actually did the mission. Oh well. Anyway, I need to check and see if my chat's died. I'm gonna actually reload real quick. Usually you guys are a bit noisier in how it's been, so we'll go ahead and reload that. And let's see, let's continue research on the last chapter. I've got to do a section on working with old computer electronics. So there's some research to be done in the old Robco production facility. Also, there used to be a big library out there. Imagine! A whole building full of books. I'll need you to gather information there for me. And that'll be it for the last chapter. So, what'll it be? Well, let's see. Let's go ahead and look at those robots. It does, doesn't it? I mostly just deal with it after it's junked. But a trader gave me this Robco processor widget. He said it's worth a fortune. According to him, if it's connected to the mainframe in the Robco factory, you could have access to all the robots you'd ever want. Now that would be a great example of how to harness technology, wouldn't it? Yeah, I suppose it would be. So I just go in and connect this widget to the mainframe? I think I can do that. Yeah, you should just be able to plug it into the mainframe at the Robco production facility. It'll give you access to the robots and terminals. Okay, here. And be sure to keep an eye peeled for any other examples of how to make old technology work for you out there. Will do. Let's see. What you got for sale this time, Moira? Probably nothing that great, but you do have more stuff. You have a Bren gun? Sweet. <laughs> you do get new stuff. Are these better than the suit you gave me? Of course they fucking are. The hell. Moira, the sh... Sure, are you doing? 
Let's see. Give me the cheapest one. And let's see. Let me sell my ammo to you. There you go. And apparently the chat is not dead. Just everyone is being quiet. They're sleeping and eating pizza. At least that's what they say. Good hunting. Okay. Thank you. 